I'm a Dr. Wong Jason. I'm actually a venture capital guy. So uh, I select companies that we think that can go for IPO and we invest in them and bring them all the way uh, to IPO. Nowadays, we are competing based on uh, three things. The first thing we compete are based on talents. Um, it, right now, Eastern Europe, uh, especially Poland, um, have quite a lot of talents and they are not actually monetized or brought into the global uh, play. So many of them stay at home, right? Uh, especially the talents here. So we think that uh, that's very, very important that we can uh, expose them to the global uh, market. And the other one is that we compete based on ideas and ideas now play a very, very important role. And ideas will prove whether it can be funded, okay, bankability uh, rather than just feasible. So ideas is the other sector. And the third one we compete is capital. Um, unfortunately, many people are not familiar how capital actually operates. We call that capital mechanism. And if they are exposed to the way how capital functions, I think many of these talents will have their ideas realized. Now for us, we think that to make a unicorn is not too difficult. Unicorn is defined as a company that reached a billion dollar valuation uh, before IPO, a startup. So to, to, to get a unicorn in, uh, the, the, the entrepreneur should understand a capital mechanism because by doing that, exponential growth of capital can happen. Many of the startups are very, very good. Unfortunately, they do not know how to issue equity. So equity financing is the way for all these smaller guys. And that is the fastest way as well. You actually not only get fundings, you also get the kind of mentorship and coaching. Many of us do not understand the difference between coaching and uh, mentors. I would like to say that maybe coaching is more uh, masculine, okay, more fatherly, uh, while the uh, mentors are more uh, feminine, more mother-like, the whole hand holdings. And you need to go through the amount of uh, coaching long before you go into incubation. Now, incubation will probably give you all the ingredients for you to recompose your firm. And finally, there's acceleration, where we actually speed up the growth of the company before we offtake them. As a venture capital guy, I, I look for companies that have uh, uh, entrepreneurs that have the right spirit. I call them the red dots. And this spirit is very, very important because these are the spirit that can drive the companies to greater heights. Ideas are given a chance to reorganize and they become uh, more feasible. But we need to do one more thing to make it bankable. A lot of ideas are feasible, but they are not bankable. So bankability is something that we, we like to expose the entrepreneur towards. So that's very, very important. MOC uh, for me is just a basic uh, cost because uh, when you speak to someone who have, do not know capital mechanism, the cost of communication is very, very expensive. The guy do not understand what you're trying to do. You talk to them. It is very taxing. It sucks a lot of energy. So one way for us is to synchronize our thinking and to have this common reference platform. So we talk the same language, uh, the same ideas. So for that, we only will invest in uh, capital mechanism savvy companies or we call MOC compliant company.